Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kid Orden. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by reviewing a movie, obviously. So this one is titled Return to Oz, and yes, this was produced by Disney. Uh, I did watch it a while ago on DVD, but then I rewatched it on Disney Plus, so I figured, eh, I guess I'll talk about it. So anyway, here we go, I guess. As usual, I have to talk about the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? So here we go. So in October of 1899, the character Dorothy still talks of her adventures in the land of Oz. Of course, this has something to do with, well, I guess, her memories of that, of course, and troubling her aunt, an uncle, whom I believe that she is fantasizing that sh the family is struggling financially speaking after w the what had occurred and whatnot. So in her yard she finds a key with an Oz kind of thing uh, on it. The aunt takes her to this doctor uh, for shock treatment. Yeah, I got pretty dark. Leaving her under the care of this nurse, as Dorothy pretty much is about to receive the treatment in the asylum. So yeah, we're talking about asylum here. Again, pretty dark for a Disney movie when you think about it. But anyway, the asylum, as I was saying, is struck by lightning, because it didn't enough, and the power goes out. Again, it seems rather coincidental, but hey. This is a crazy movie and crazy things happen, of course. So anyway, I was about to say, our main character, Dorothy, is most freed from her restraints. Yep, again, pretty dark for a Disney movie, like I just said a moment ago. But anyway, by this mysterious girl, whom proceeds to help her flee the asylum. And before Dorothy becomes one of the, you know, the damaged patients, that's cool. again pretty dark. And yeah, unlocked in a cell. Again, that's pretty dark. They escaped, of course, and the nurse is on pursuit and falls uh, into a river. So let's just say that our main character, Dorothy, does, well, let's just say, gets into a lot of trouble. She wakes up in Oz near. This deadly desert with this, um, but let's just say she does get introduced with quite a few characters. And it's not an easy ride for her at all. This, she goes on a crazy adventure and it gets, it's pretty damn intense. It's pretty damn intense. And holy hell. It's actually kind of creepy. It's, it it kind of reminded me of a horror movie in that way. I know this is not a horror movie, really, at all, but it did kind of remind me of that. And, and I mean that as a compliment. I really do mean that as a compliment. And, when it comes to kids being in movies, especially the late characters being portrayed by kids, for me, it's usually a big no-no. Because I find kid actors and kid actresses pretty annoying which they are but this was one of the few occasions where she actually did a pretty good job her acting was really well convincing she, the actress made the kid actress made me believe that okay this is Dorothy and she played the role really really well so that kid has some good acting chops at least in my opinion anyway but like I said, poor Disney kind of flick, yeah, it got pretty gloomy in a lot of ways. Ugh. But, you know, yeah, it got. I'm not sure this might be age appropriate for a lot of kids. I say maybe eight and upward. That maybe any kid under the age of eight, uh, I don't know about that. But maybe eight and upward seems to be a bit okay, I guess. Like, it, because, like I was saying, it, it does get pretty intense throughout the entire movie. Even at the store. 
Which is fine. That's not that's not a complaint. Because when you're making a movie, regardless of genre, you have to set the mood within the first ten minutes. Whether it's a comedy, a fantasy, a crime drama, a detective movie, a horror movie, or whatever. An adventure movie, whatever. Or even a musical. Set the tone. Set what's at risk. The who, what, where, and when, and why. You know, set the overall tone and all the basic setting within the first 10 minutes. Is what I'm saying. So, you know, keep that in mind. But yeah, he does that pretty well and, effic and efficiently. So this film does his job quite well. I liked it. I really enjoyed what was delivered here. Yeah, the set designs were pretty good. And the way that you know, the, uh, the location takes place outside were nicely done as well. So, this was definitely a really produced film. Which I do recommend for those who have not seen this movie as of yet. Because it's actually pretty good. I liked it. So, yeah, folks. Uh, here's for the special effects. Special effects aren't too bad, really. So, yeah, and the special effects are quite good, despite the fact, yes, it's an older movie. Obviously, it's an older movie. But it does good job well. But anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.5 out of 10. It gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. As always, thank you for watching, and take care. Till next time, see ya. Oh yeah.